I am a puppy. It's not a well-known story, but I think it should be King David's kindness to a man with a disability. The last time I talked about Jesus and people with disability, let's jump back to King David's extraordinary encounter with someone with a disability. In 2 Samuel, 9 reads as follows. And David said, Is there still anyone left of the house of Saul, that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? Now there was a servant of the house of Saul, whose name was Ziba, and they called him to David. And the king said to him, Are you Ziba? And he said, I am your servant. And the king said, Is there not still someone of the house of Saul, that I may show the kindness of God to him? Ziba said to the king, there is still a son of Jonathan. He is crippled in his feet. The king said to him, Where is he? And Ziba said to the king, He is in the house of Machir, the son of Amiel, at Lodabar. Then king David sent and brought him from the house of Machir, the son of Amiel, at Lodabar. And Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, son of Saul, came to David and fell on his face and paid homage. And David said, Mephibosheth. And he answered, Behold, I am your servant. And David said to him, Do not fear, for I will show you kindness for the sake of your father Jonathan and I will restore to you all the land of Saul your father, and you shall eat at my table always. And he paid homage and said, What is your servant, that you should show regard for a dead dog such as I? Then the king called Ziba, Saul's servant, and said to him, All that belonged to Saul, and to all his house I have given to your master's grandson. And you and your sons and your servants shall till the land for him, and shall bring in the produce, that your master's grandson may have bread to eat. But Mephibosheth, your master's grandson, shall always eat at my table. Now Ziba had fifteen sons and twenty servants. Then Ziba said to the king, According to all that my lord the king commands his servant, so will your servant do. So Mephibosheth ate at David's table, like one of the king's sons. And Mephibosheth had a young son, whose name was Micah. And all who lived in Ziba's house became Mephibosheth's servants. So Mephibosheth lived in Jerusalem, for he ate always at the king's table. Now he was lame in both his feet. Wow, what a beautiful and unique story. Most people do not even know about it. And I wonder exactly why. There is a backstory to this. Mephibosheth is the sole surviving member of Saul's household. It was customary for the new king to kill all those in the former king's family. Instead, King David came to love Mephibosheth as his son. Mephibosheth knew himself to be doubly cursed, a dead dog, the eight. Yet, King David looked past Mephibosheth's disability, gives him a sit each night at the royal dinner table. God's ability in our disability is so remarkable. 
Yet only 5 to 10% of the world's disabled are effectively reached with the gospel, making the community of individuals with disabilities one of the largest unreached groups in the world. It is heartbreaking to me because I know firsthand that my soul needs God's word. My body is disabled, yet my heart and soul yeah. are not craving God's world and his love. Amen. No matter what walks of life we are from, we need to hear that our sins are forgiven through faith in Christ for the Lord, and we receive eternal life. Isn't the joy in this reality compel us to share that good news with anyone who doesn't know? Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube and Instagram videos. Get here. Peace and peace. Amanda. CPGAL.com He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Mark 5, verse 34. May God bless you. Bye for now.